we decided to launch Graduate Now uh, after looking at the platform for several months, probably since this past summer, so nine months or so, um, for a few reasons. Um, one, we hadn't previously budgeted for Graduate, and we, given that we had to cancel a number of events, including reunion, we had funds that we were able to sort of repurpose um, that would have been used for those in-person gatherings that now we could put towards these digital opportunities. Um, my staff also, the development team, had some found time because our entire spring strategy had to be reconsidered in light of COVID. Fewer mailings, fewer events, uh, postponed cultivation and stewardship events and other activities and initiatives. So um, it looked like, seemed like a good place to just shift our human resources. And um, maybe most importantly, one of my biggest concerns early on with signing on with Graduate was that our adoption rate would be low and then it wouldn't be useful. Uh, but given that our alumni are home for the most part and potentially looking to network more so, sadly, in the coming months, we thought that this would be an, a, a time when we could capture their attention and get the adoption rate up higher and also show our value as an institution. You know, I think everyone's looking for meaningful connections and a sense of community and um, even more so than, than we normally are at this sort of scary and, and unprecedented and unknown time. And so um, Graduate really gives them the opportunity to not only interact with us as, a, as an institution and, and their alma mater, but it also really facilitates their relationships with each other. And uh, that has always been I, what I was impressed by early on. And this uh, seems like an even more important time than ever um, to build those relationships.